How's it going, guys? My name is Rara Flows, and today is Wednesday, November the 9th, 2022. Today, we're getting ready to start making a ring. So first, you're going to take your 20 gauge copper wire and you're going to double it with 26 gauge copper wire. And then we're going to attach it to our 16 gauge jig. Next step, you're going to go ahead and twist your jig up until you have coils going all the way up your jig. So once you're done coiling up, you're going to have a nice long strip of coils on your jig. Go ahead and cut and remove them. And then you're probably going to have a little bit of excess. Go ahead and take a look at your coils. Find which side has the more consistent side. Like if we look at this end, you can see how from start to finish it almost looks good. And then right around there, we get a little kink. And then if we go to the other side, it gets a little bit more bumpy on this end. But again, this side here is a little bit more consistent. So we're going to go right up to where that line is. And that's where we're going to go ahead and make our cut for our ring. So then we're going to go back to our 20 gauge copper wire. And then we're going to take our pin vise. You're going to take that copper gauge 20 gauge wire. You're going to put it inside your pin vise and go ahead and close your pin vise real nice and tight so it doesn't slip out. Okay, so once you are done putting your wires on your pin vise, you're going to go ahead and attach them to some form of clamp. I've put mine on my table clamp and then you're going to go ahead and spin and spin and spin until this wire is very nice and tight. All stop it, coming from one end is going to get a little bit too stiff and not as consistently tight on the other end so what we're going to do is we're going to unattach our one end from our pin vise and we're going to reattach it in the other and then we're going to attach the other end inside the table vise and then we're going to keep spinning so that we have a nice consistent twist on both ends of the wire Okay, so once you're done twisting, you should have a nice, tight, rope-like coil like this of wire. And you're going to go ahead and put them through your 16-gauge coils to want to sit and lay real nice. I'm a big fan of this look. Next up, we're going to take our dowel place the ring on and we're going to go ahead and bend our wires around. The wire doesn't want to flow as nice as just a single wire. Because a single wire of 20 gauge copper will move like butter. Like wherever you put it, it just wants to go. With this twisted wire, it, it has points where it wants to and points that it doesn't. Um, as the wires weave and cause different points of tension. So it, it's weird because at some points it'll want to go really fast and then it'll just want to snag for what seems like no reason at all. Um, so you have to be way more deliberate. You have to be way more deliberate with what you're trying to do with it. Um, rather than just letting it like, it'll fall into place. But that being said, you have to be more active with your, like I said, with your placement, with your flow. Okay, so as you can see, we have our girdle made with our stone ready to be put in. We have trace wires going around. 
with enough lead to set and finish off. All right, so as you can see, we have our ring made, our girdles set, and our bracers ready to lock in any crystal that we put in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this tiny little quartz point. Or should we wrap this kitty cat up instead? Or should we wrap this kitty cat up instead? Because the way she's crying. The way she's crying. She's not that far off from getting wrapped up. All right, there you go, cat. Get out of here. So once you have go ahead and secured your crystal stone, you're gonna take your lead wires and you're gonna tie off to secure, cut off any extra you might have. We have a size seven and a half, eight copper quartz ring. We got coils, we got twists. That's how it looks on the hand. a nice honker quartz on there, man. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Take care and goodbye.